standing today um, outside Charmwood House, which is the post 16 building at Cotton. Uh, and my name again is Miss Potter, and I'm the assistant head teacher here. Hi there, my name is Miss Beaver, and I'm the student services leader here at Cotton. I'm here to help with all things to do with well being, to do with careers, if there's any safeguarding issues, and even first aid. So the first thing we want to do is give you a sense of what it feels like to be a student here and the best way to do that is going to be to show you the building. So the first place you'll see is the student reception here behind me and it's manned by our lovely receptionist, Miss Watts. Hello and welcome to the Post 16 Centre. I'm Miss Watts and you'll find me in Charmwood Reception Office. If there's anything you need, just pop in and I'll try and help you. Or just pop in and say hello. I hope you enjoy your time with us and I look forward to meeting you. So one of the first spaces you'll come to inside the building is the canteen. It doesn't look very inviting at the moment, but that's because it's currently having a deep clean to get ready uh, to invite students back. It normally would be full of tables, and this is a social space that you can use at break and lunch time. And behind that metal grill is a canteen space serving hot and cold food. Any of you that have free school meals, you will be able to access your free school meals here in the Pro 16 building. We're now in the library where you'll be able to access lots of reference books. There's also more over in the library at the main school that you're able to access. And you'll be able to silently study in here if you want a quiet place to go. And there's also lots of support from the librarian in terms of helping with your study skills. And there's a range of literature to do with your progressions as well. Also in Charma, we have our reflection room. This is a safe space for you to go if you're feeling overwhelmed. It's also a place where you can go for reflection or prayer. We've mentioned that there's a library space up at main site, but there's a number of other specialist facilities up there that you'll make use of. It's likely that you'll have at least one of your lessons on main site, so we're going to show you some of the facilities that you'll have access to. The visual arts department offers space for you to work during your art lessons or photography lessons, um, as well as space for you to study outside of your lesson time. There is always a designated space for post-16 students to work independently. As well as that, there's a Mac suite for you to use and a photography darkroom. We're really lucky to have great space for learning science at Cotton. Alongside the classrooms, there are state-of-the-art labs which you'll have access to, to give you a blend of theory and practical elements in your science learning. Whether you're studying performing arts subjects or this is an enrichment pursuit for you, the facilities we have at Cotton as a specialist performing arts school are really brilliant. Dance studio, recording studio, drama studio, there's loads here that you can make use of outside your studies as part of, or as part of your studies. We're really lucky with the design technology facilities we have at Cotton, from 3D printers to all the machinery that you can make use of to support your studies, whether it's in tech or a related subject. For a school in the city centre, the space we have for sport is something we're really proud of. As well as the sports hall, we have a multi-use games arena and an all-weather pitch. And whether you're studying sport or pursuing sport as one of your enrichment activities, these are spaces you'll have access to. Downstairs in Charmwood is a space called Upgrade and here are the academic mentors to tell you a little bit more about how we use it. Hi, I'm Mrs Dutton. I'm one of the academic mentors in Post 16. Part of your Post 16 will be Upgrade, which are held their open study space areas where you go in groups or as an individual in your directed study time when you're not in lessons. Part of this is that one of the academic mentors will be with you at all times to help and support you, to help sure, make sure you reach your full potential. I'm really looking forward to meeting you all in September. Have a great summer. Hello, my name is Alina Muszynska. I'm one of the academic mentors here at North Bristol 16. Um, students can be referred for academic mentoring or I can self-refer. It's varied, it ranges from essay writing, time management, exam technique, help with revision skills, um, UCAS applying to university or confidence building. So there's a lot of things we do. Uh, I look forward to meeting you all um, in September, hopefully. Bye. So while you are going to be here studying, it is also really important that you are taking good care of your well-being. And one of the many things that we can do to support you with that is provide you with some great outside space. Charmwood uh, has its own courtyard for post 16 use but also some nice green area around it as well for you to enjoy on sunnier days. So we'd like to introduce you to a few more members of staff now uh, here to support you 
in your Pro 16 journey and the first of those are our senior tutors to talk through a bit about how tutoring works here at the centre. My name is Miss Skinner, I am senior tutor of year 12, I also teach sociology and psychology. As part of my role as senior tutor I will be keeping an eye on your attendance and supporting you with any issues that you might face that are having an effect on your attendance. I also oversee tutoring where you'll be expected every morning. Uh, during this time there are a range of different activities that you can take part in from talking about future plans to quizzes. Um, you will have the same tutor for two years and it's a really great opportunity to get to know people that you wouldn't otherwise meet in lessons. Um, so I'm really looking forward to meeting you all and getting to know you. Take care. Hi, I'm Miss Meek. I'm one of the senior tutors on the Post 16 team. Um, I will be working with Year 13 from September. Year 13 is a really important year. It's when we do your UCAS references, your references for apprenticeships and references for job applications. It will be your tutors that do this. So you've got the opportunity from Year 12 into Year 13 to create a really good impression on your tutor and to let them know who you are. You'll see me around the site. If you've got any issues, feel free to approach me um, and I'm looking forward to seeing lots of you again and meeting some of you for the first time from September. There are lots of other people we would like to introduce you to today but here's just a couple. Hello I'm Susie Pace, I'm the School Careers Advisor. Um, I work in both Cotton School and North Bristol Post 16 Charnwood Centre. My job is to help you with information, advice and personal one-to-one -one guidance all about careers so any questions you've got about your future um, what you're going to do and how you're going to do it feel free to pop in and see me or email me on my school email address i look forward to hearing from you hello everyone my name is mandy collard and i'm the counselor for everyone in the post 16 community and my role is to support you through any ups and downs of post-16 life. We've introduced you to a lot of people that are here to support you and themselves and Miss Potter and myself can be found here at the top of the staircase in Charmwood. So you've been given a lot of information by us today but we're sure you've got plenty of questions yourselves and here are some of our student ambassadors to answer them for you. If you didn't go to Gordon for GCSEs really don't worry there's loads of people who are in the same boat as you and at the start there's dedicated sessions to introducing people um, so that you'll make friends quite quickly. Um, loads of my friends in my friendship groups now didn't go to Cotton before and I've met loads of really lovely people so don't worry about it. <laughs> so in year 12, because I do like chemistry, I was involved with the Authentic Biology Scheme which I would really recommend it's working with the university on kind of like re real life science lab work. Um, in year 13, I helped with um, maths homework club and that was really great. Um, definitely helped me with my maths, stuff I'd forgotten from GCSE. Um, but there's loads of stuff. We did rounders in the summer. Anything that you can, if you want to do it, organize it and get a teacher to be, you know, oversee it or something and you, you can really do anything, any type of club or sports. Um, I know there was like football and things like that. Upgrade is a learning space in Post 16 Centre where you can go to catch up on your work or um, finish up some work that your teachers set for you. It's just kind of a quiet, relaxed place where you can go to finish up on some work. And people are there to help you with revision techniques and printing and anything really. They'll give you advice on whatever you need. Um, to help you do your independent studies. Um, it's a more of a social environment um, to work in. I used to go there quite a lot to do my maths because I'd often need help <laughs> with my maths. Um, so I'd sit with people who also did maths as an A-level choice and they'd help me through my work. Um, so it's a good environment to get stuff done if you need that little bit of help or you prefer to work in the company of friends. If you don't like that work environment, you can go to the library, which is silent and yeah, it's a good place to go and be by yourself and get stuff done. Uh, there's loads of support. So Mandy, the counsellor, um, 
Mrs Beaver who's really easy to contact through email, like any of the post-16 leadership team, any of the teachers would be really, really happy um, to help. You just need to, to email them. But I would say yeah, Mandy is lovely. She's the school counsellor um, and you can go there and nobody has to know. Um, so really great support. The well-being support of the school is second to none. Um, it's, there's just support staff in place just to help you uh, make that transition and they're there for you if you want to talk or anything. Um, there's also rooms in the school that you can go to um, if you just need some quiet time alone, teachers can go um, and open that room up for you so you can just sit and have some time alone with your thoughts. Involved. There are roles for year 12s and year 13s on the team and you'll be notified when it's time to apply. Remember that your voice is the one that matters. You are the students after all. So if you want things to change, your voice needs to be the one that needs to be heard. So you need to put your voice forward. Um, your attendance is actually checked um, and you get a report at the end of each term with your attendance record. And if you miss a lesson, your parents get a text. Um, the hours of lessons, they go from like being 25 in secondary to being like 14, 13 in sixth form. So like it is a lot less intense, so you have a lot more time to independently work. Um, but missing a lesson, I personally didn't think it was worth it because having to catch up independently is so much harder than having the support of a teacher. You'll have a lot of free periods that you probably won't be used to having because in lower school you don't but if you use all of them really to stay in school and do your work there then by the time you get home and on your weekends you'll barely have to do anything um, so go to upgrade go to the library and get your work done quickly there's this hour for an hour system that sick form like to enforce um, but if you use all your free periods it will only be a few hours that you have to do at home. So that's pretty much it for today. Uh, we really look forward to having you here in person so we can show you the space as it's meant to be used and hopefully that won't be too far away. Please keep in touch. Everyone that you've been introduced to today is here to support you from now on moving forwards. Uh, stay safe and we'll see you really soon.